So the second part of setting up your WordPress website is to establish hosting. I mentioned before that we're going to use HostGator as a demo, but look up any hosting company that provides cPanel access. cPanel is just uh, an administrative console that makes managing your WordPress site, or any website for that matter, a lot easier. Um, and if you look here, there's different web hosting plans, but they're all very, very affordable uh, with HostGator. And for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to show you an existing HostGator account, but it all looks the same, even if you're just getting started right now. Uh, you'll see basically the same screens here. So if I go in, here is my actual administrative console. I've logged in to my cPanel here in HostGator. The first thing is, on the left side, if you scroll down uh, towards the bottom, right, not at the very bottom, but towards the bottom, there's a section here for name servers. These are the name servers, that, if you remember from the first demo, that you're going to need to plug into the domain. So you have to say, my domain is hosted here at this HostGator or this Bluehost or whatever host you use site, and you pass it this ex explicit information. Once you save it, it gets committed, and now when somebody types in your domain name, uh, the internet user will be transferred to whatever is hosted here in HostGator, and they'll be presented with whatever information has been published for that domain. So the second step, is to then uh, create an add-on domain. In my case, I'm going to need to create an add-on domain. The only exception to this is if you have just purchased HostGator for the, uh, for the purposes of hosting your new domain, then you won't need to add on a domain because this entire account would be dedicated to that new domain you've just purchased. So you only need to do this for the next step I'm showing you uh, right here if you're using this hosting account for multiple domains and you already have one in action. So you click Add-on Domains. So I'm going to go with an, another domain that I already have, um, urbancube.com. And I know this one isn't running on WordPress yet. Um, it's going to assign a username. By default for me, I can change all this stuff. And I'm just going to give it a password. Just put in a temporary for now. And then you click Add Domain. The domain gets added. And now, with WordPress, or sorry, with HostGator, um, what I really like about having the cPanel access is that it gives you the ability to install WordPress really, really easily. So I'm going to hit go back here. And actually, let's go back to the home section of our cPanel. And now we're going to install WordPress on this particular domain. So from our control panel, what you want to do is scroll down and find a utility called Fantastico Deluxe. It's under the software or services section here. Click on Fantastico. This is a great tool that's available with all cPanel-based um, hosting companies. And there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I already have some domains running. Skip all, all of the other stuff and just go right to the WordPress section. So click on the WordPress link. And then what you'll see here is that you have a few different options. But what, what I want to focus on here is right here. There's, we're going to install a new version of WordPress or a new instance of WordPress for that domain, Urban Cube that I am going to be pointing at this hosting account. So we click New Installation, and then it gives me my top-level domain, my original domain that I registered with um, HostGator. I've got it grayed out here because this is a live site, but what I'm going to do is scroll to urban-cube.com. So the first thing is Administrator Access Data. Uh, this is for our, WordPress, our new WordPress site, so we're going to say that WordPress has an admin ID. This is how we log into WordPress to make changes. And there's going to be a password for now. I'm just going to set it to admin. And then there's base configuration. This is the stuff that sort of gets tied to your WordPress site. So the, the administrator can have a nickname. You're going to want to set an email address in here. So I'm just going to say admin at urban-cube.com. And the site name itself is Urban Cube. This is all stuff you can change after the fact. But what I'm really trying to get to here is the point where I can install WordPress. We click Install WordPress. So here it just gives you a confirmation screen of what is going to be installed and con confirming the domain. So now we're just going to finish the installation. But this is the same for pretty much all hosting accounts. It gives you the, uh, the, the uh, directory structure of where this stuff has been installed. And if I scroll down here, it just gives you a bunch of different information about your site. So in this particular demo, I was using urban-cube.com, and it's saying the site's installed. You should be able to log into your WordPress account at urbancube.com slash WP admin. The only thing here is that I know for certain that when I first purchased the, uh, the domain here, I did not set it to the correct, uh, the correct name servers. I had it set to a different hosting account. So let's go back. If you remember the, uh, the cPanel, so let's go back to our cPanel here. There are 
two different name servers that are unique to this host. So I need to make sure these two name servers are set over here in the urban-cube.com domain management system. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I need to go ahead and set the correct name servers in here. So I just click, click set name servers and then I'll go ahead and type that in. I'll do that off camera but that you get the idea. Just to quickly review what happened, we on the left side here we got our domain from GoDaddy, so whatever your domain is .com, and the domain had two settings for name servers. So we put in our two name server uh, addresses for whatever our hosting company provided us. In our case, it was HostGator, and then over on the HostGator side, we used cPanel to add the domain, uh, so that the cPanel knew about our new domain. We did a quick WordPress install using Fantastico, and once all those pieces are in place. Then I'm going to flip back to the demo. I should be able to go to my domain name.com and see that WordPress is installed. And here I am at urbancube.com. You can see this is a fresh install of WordPress. And just to test, I'll go to the login button. And if you remember, we set the username and password as admin, admin. And let's make sure we can log in. And we can. So we're ready to go with our new WordPress website.